Hi everybody. Welcome to Art with Carol online once again. And uh, today I have a project that would be a really great project, I think, for um, kindergarten and the younger grades, as well as up through to the older grades. So what I've made is I t went out and found myself some leaves and I dried them because they were quite wet. And after they were dry, then I used my leaves for impressions. Um, also, this is called resist technique. So I'm using watercolors and um, I'm using wax. If you have a white crayon, that would be perfect. I don't have a white crayon, I'm at home and I was not able to go into the school to get any of my supplies. I have no crayons here. You could do this whole project with crayons or you could stick with watercolors if you have watercolors at home. I'm using, it's actually just a candle and I tried it out to see if it would work. I thought that it probably would and sure enough, it works. So you could use a white candle or you can use a white crayon, it's your choice. The, what we're gonna do is, so I'm gonna hold this up so you can see it nice and close. You can see my, my leaves. So we need a white crayon or a candle. We need some leaves. Just go ahead and go into your yard, get any kind of leaves that maybe the more um, intact, the more whole they are, the better. And I've got myself four leaves here and I've dried them. And actually they're starting to curl because they're drying so much. So I'm gonna to try to keep them pressed out. So what you're gonna do is take your, take your leaf. You need also, sorry, you need a white piece of, I am just using um, printer paper, just normal school, eight and a half by 11 paper. And I wanna find the rough edge where I can really feel the veins of the leaf. And I'm gonna put that underneath my paper. I'm gonna flatten it out because I want my leaf edges to show. I got kind of an idea where it is. Now you're not gonna be able to see this. It's really hard to see um, on a camera and it's hard to see in person. But you're gonna take your white crayon and you're gonna rub all along where you're pretty sure where you can feel that that leaf is, okay? So I'm going right across to where I can feel my leaf and I can feel and kind of see from the light shining. I wanna get that nice little stem too. And I'm gonna color it in as much as I can. I wanna be able to see all my vein points really well and go right off the edge of your leaf because you want to be able to see that nice edging. All right, there's one leaf. Now, kind of remember where that was. I'm going to put another one under here. I'm going to, you can put them any which way you want to. This is a really big guy. So I want to get the bottom of them. Got to kind of hold your paper and hold that leaf underneath. And just color that white as much as you can. This is called resist because the water paint will just roll right off of the wax of your crayon or of your candle. And so then it'll leave white spots where the candle is and it'll fill in other areas with color. So I think I've got that pretty good. I'm going to take that one off. Look, I'm getting kind of a nice pattern here. I don't know if you can see it. You could do something else with that. All right, let's see. I have another leaf. This is a really tiny, oh, I think I'll use this fat one here. And you, this one I'll put this way. Your leaves can go any way you want them to and they can overlap on each other. Now I've got one going this way. So I'm just gonna color it in. Go over it as much as you can. Just try to imagine that you're filling in all those little gaps. Get that stem, that's really cool. Okay, there. So you can do more leaves if you want to, or you can leave it at that. I've just got the three on there. I think I'll just stop there for now because I don't want this video to be too long. You can add more, and when I did my sample, you can see that I put in 
one, two, three, four, five. See how they're all kind of going different ways, that way, that way, down, out this way, okay? Now, what I didn't do on my sample, but I want to do this time, I thought, hmm, I wanna change this a little bit. I'm going to take my paper and I'm gonna put a nice little border all around the edge. Whoops, I'm wiggling you. All around the edge of it. I'm gonna to try to keep my paint inside that little border. And if I don't, it's not a big deal, but I just think this might look kind of fun to do that. So if you have a marker or a pencil and you wanna do that, you can do any color, you don't have to do black. Now, if you're using crayons to color this in, just take your crayon and just color over it all with all different colors. If you're using watercolors, you wanna get your brush wet and then pick a color. Oh, excuse me, before we do that, I wanna try, I'm just gonna run water with my brush all over the paper. And you don't wanna be scrubbing on the paper. I'm really holding my brush really lightly, okay? There, so now I've got it pretty wet and you can see the water starting to bead on it. Now I'm gonna get a color going here. I think I'll start with this pink. You can get whatever color you want. This is just my little travel set. Luckily I had it at home with me. You want them to be quite watery. And I'm gonna, look at this. I'm gonna start putting this on. Oh, it looks so cool. And I'm gonna change colors. And I want my colors to bleed into each other. Let's do this little bit of orange here. All right, I'm gonna blend it right in to the other color. Oh, look, can you see how well my little stem showed here? I wanna get a little bit of purple in there, I think. Totally your choice of colors. You just wanna keep your watercolors really wet. Look, I'm adding more water to my brush. And I'm gonna come right in and go over some of the others because I want all the colors to mix in. Wow, you might wanna try this a couple of times because you know what I'm seeing? I like this one better than my first one. There we go. Blend those colors in a bit. Now I'm gonna, I think I'll add a little bit of green. I'm gonna to try to stay to brighter colors. I kind of sort of want to put brown, but I'm because the leaves are brown right now, but I want it to be pretty, prettier than that. I don't, I want it to be brighter than that is what I should say. I love green, so just adding a bit of green to it. And I think I'll do some yellow. Lots of water on your brush. Hold your brush really lightly. Okay, really lightly you wanna hold your brush. I'm not pushing down hard, because if you do push down hard, oh, look how I kind of mix that in, that was lovely. If you push too hard with your brush, if you press down on your paper, you might put a hole right through your paper. So I'm coming all the way around, I'm gonna do a nice little yellow border, yellow background, I should say. I'm gonna try leave the border white, but I'm not too worried if I get some color on it. It just gives it a nice definition. Oh, see, that's really bright, but I wanna have a bit more water. There. You can make several of these, try them different ways. Try different size um, leaves, even some, oh, some juniper leaves might be nice. All different kinds, whatever you can find outside. I just got them off the ground. And there you have a beautiful art piece. Be sure to put your name down in the corner. I'm gonna put Carol. And when yours is finished, you can get someone to take a picture of it for you and send it in to me or to your teacher, just email it. And I'm going to put them up on the Facebook page and the parent page. And um, we get to enjoy what everybody has been doing. So. Stay safe and keep on painting and I will see you next time.